the next story again is uh, a far travel story, and this time it's uh, it's came all the way from New Zealand, and it's Mary White with the Clays Line. <coughs> A Clays Line. A Clays Line was a news forecast <laughs> to neighbours passing by. There were no secrets you could keep when clays were hung out to dry. It also was a friendly link for the neighbours I was new, if folk had gone and by, to spend a night or two. For then you'd see the fancy sheets and towels hanging out on the line. You'd see the fancy tablecloths with a fantouche design. The clays announced a wain's birth to the folk that bide inside, as brand new infants' clays were hung, say Connolly and with pride. The ages o' the wains could so easily be known, by watching who the sizes changed, ye kenned how much they'd grown. <coughs> it also telt when illness struck, as extra sheets were hung, the nicht clays and a bathrobe tea haphazardly strung. It said a on holiday now, when the line was limp and bare. It tell were back when the line sagged, with no an inch to spare. New folk in the tune were frowned on, if their wash was dingy grey, as neighbours raised their ebrews and looked disgustedly away. But Clay's lines new are of the past, for electric dryers might work less. New what goes on inside a house is only buddy's guess. I really miss young wild life. It was a friendly sign when neighbours all kent each other, but what was hung out on their clay's line. <laughs>